Well, if you're going to have a championship season, if you're going to have a great season, your seniors have to buy in. They have to take ownership of the team. They have to lead by example. And it all starts with the captain. Uh, you know, we've had so many great captains here in our tenure. And uh, but Norman Hayes is a special one. Uh, he's one of those guys that everybody respects. He's a tremendous player. And he knows the pulse of the team, what he has to do as the captain to help us reach our potential. He did a tremendous job. Yeah, we had uh, so many guys uh, go down this year, especially on the offensive side of the ball, and there were so many guys that either you didn't expect to have the impact they did or had to step up that did a great job. Guys like Scott Peters on defense as our safety, uh, you know, kind of came out of nowhere as a walk-on to, to really make an impact on our defense. Um, you look at guys like uh, Andrew Caston replacing Paul Stanton at times, Scotty Hush at uh, Scotty Hush at quarterback and so many other guys like that that you would not necessarily have predicted to have the impact they had. You know, one guy that uh, you know I'm not sure we all saw it coming was Connor Sheehan. Uh, he had just a tremendous season as reflected by being picked uh, first team all Ivy by his peers, by the coaches in the league. And he's a guy that uh, was not highly recruited, who we had to, to some extent be talked into recruiting him. And uh, he just had a tremendous impact, not just in terms of his production on the football field, but in terms of being a guy that helped motivate our team. Well, I'll tell you, there were so many guys that had great seasons. Uh, some you could see coming and some that uh, were really surprises. But uh, obviously on offense, uh, you know, Cole Toner, you know, becoming acknowledged as one of the top, if not the top offensive linemen in the Ivy League. You look at Nick Easton as a guy that uh, only started half a season last year when uh, our center went down, having uh, just a tremendous season again up front with the offensive line. Yeah, our defensive line uh, was the best in the Ivy League. I think that was the, the key to our success on defense. Certainly not the only key because we had great production at linebacker and I think the secondary uh, transitioned tremendously. But it all starts with the guys up front, and Obum's a guy that uh, improved dramatically to the point where he's one of the best defensive tackles in the country. And Zach Hodges, and I hear some people say Zach wasn't quite as productive. If you watch the film, that's not true. The problem was everybody double teamed him, everybody schemed him, everybody tried to run away from him. But at the end of the day, uh, Zach had a tremendous year, and I, I think obviously deserves to be considered the top defensive player in the Ivy League. There's no question that coming in, you know, Connor Hempel and Paul Stanton were probably our, our two biggest impact skill guys. And when they were out of the lineup, it was definitely challenging. Guys stepped up, but we weren't quite the same team. Uh, but we had them all healthy. You know, we had all our receivers healthy. We had Connor Hempel and Paul Stanton in there. Uh, we had a tremendously explosive and productive offense. Those guys are great players. Uh, those guys are guys who make us better coaches. And those guys are guys who had great seasons when they were healthy. You know, I think, as I said to the media after the game, um, anytime you beat Yale, it's a big deal and it's special. Anytime you win an Ivy League championship, it's, it's unique and it's also special. Uh, but I don't think, in consideration of the, the big event that this was, to have a perfect season, I don't think it could have been any more special or any more exciting than it was in 2014. Having ESPN and, and College Dame Day come to campus uh, was a tremendous, uh, it's just a tremendous thing for the Harvard community. It means that uh, we've got great people in media relations to be able to pull it off. It's not just the team, it's, it's the team way beyond the team, way beyond the players and coaches. It's our administration, it's our media people. And uh, it was obviously a coup for the Ivy League. It was a, a great thing for us and I think it helped us get great exposure to the world that football is very important in the Ivy League, it's important at Harvard, that we put out a tremendous Division I football product, and that this rivalry is as good and as strong and as vibrant as any rivalry in the country.